My name is Branya Rand, heir to Bellabog's supreme guardian and acting commander of the Silvermane... <sighs> Apologies, I'm used to introducing myself like that. You can call me Branya. I had a nightmare last night. Sorry, I'm not fully awake yet. I'd like to walk around a bit more. Don't worry, I won't go far. See you tomorrow. Sometimes... I feel like I don't represent myself. That I'm a symbol in human form, and anyone could have been given the title of heir to the Supreme Guardian. I don't know where the feeling comes from, but I hope it doesn't become the truth. The architects built us a fortress to keep the blizzards at bay, but we must never forget that those blizzards are still on the horizon. The faint singing that emanates from Golden Theater, the sound of hurried footsteps in the early morning, the nighttime tranquility of Clipoth Fort. I know they might seem contradictory, but I like all of them. You have to suppress your anger during an interrogation, or you might find yourself using indelicate vocabulary. When you've been on the front line for a while, you start to get an overwhelming urge to return to the Guardian's residence and rest. But then, as soon as you're lying in bed, all of your worries about the front line come to the fore. Huh? Perhaps that's the responsibility that Mother used to talk about. I heard the Solworm Festival was first established to celebrate the arrival of spring. But Bellabog citizens these days just see it as a few days off. I want to bring the original meaning back again. Captain Jappard? 
<laughs> I think you could accurately be described as Bellabog's iron wall. In this city, it's more difficult to defend than go on the offensive. I remember it. I'd be there when Mother and the rest of them would convene, and Sir Val would always patiently answer any questions I had. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like that was a long, long time ago. Whenever I praise her, she does her utmost to keep a straight face and hide any trace of happiness she might be feeling. Well, I can tell because I've practiced the same thing. I have deep respect for my mother, but she's no longer how I remember her. Well, perhaps I never realized who she truly was.
will pay for this. Want to see what I can do? You're not going anywhere. Time to twirl. No manners, huh? <laughs> Time to twirl. Uh, let me through. Stop this. Time to twirl. Oh, let's see. Time to twirl. Huh. Want to see what I can do? You. <laughs> Time to twirl. Time to twirl. Oh, no manners, huh? huh? Time to twirl. Time to twirl. This battle is unavoidable. Lend me your strength. Let me through. Want to see what I can do? You're not going anywhere. Time to twirl. Who invited you? <laughs> Time to twirl. Time to twirl. You'll pay for this. <laughs> Want to see what I can do? Stop this! Time to twirl! This battle is unavoidable. <laughs> Time to twirl! <laughs> Let me through! Want to see what I can do? Oh. Time to twirl! Who invited you? <laughs> Time to twirl! You're not going anywhere! Time to twirl! No manners, huh? <laughs> Time to twirl! Time to twirl! Uh, let me through! You'll pay for this. <sighs> We've entered the storm. To guard and defend! Crush them!
There's inspiration in every glance. Clocking off, finally. Hey, you came. That was fast. Didn't I tell you? Long story short, the underground used to have many mines. However, in recent years, some sort of corrosion called the Fragmentum started to spread. It's ruined a lot of mines. The one we're heading into is relatively unaffected. A bunch of vagrants made it their home after their old turf was consumed by the Fragmentum. Actually, most of them are pretty honest folks. But with such a large group, it's inevitable that troublemakers will find their way in. They've been stealing stuff from the miners and picking fights. And that's not the worst of it. Things are much more serious this time. For two days now, huge clashes have been breaking out between the miners and the vagrants. It isn't pretty. Mines are our lifelines in the underworld. We have to keep providing Geomero to the overworld in exchange for supplies. In order to quell the situation, Chief Oleg brought wildfire into the mine and left me in charge of security for the towns. But the situation in the mine is critical. I have to back him up. As for you, the Chief will decide your fate when we see him. Good. I've been wanting to come face to face with the leader of the Underworld. You're about to come face to face with reality. Natasha doing here? Things must be worse than I thought. Hey! Where are you going? Don't think you can just run off. Come back here and finish talking things through with Natasha. Oleg. Hey, Zila and Sampo's guests. So it looks like you've already met. I haven't seen Oleg. The miners said they saw him take a group further in. Oh, you look fine to me. Uh, sorry, I need to prioritize the wounded. There have been violent clashes between the miners and local thugs in the last few days. Many people are injured. You see these people? They're all miners and their family members. They want an explanation from the instigators. This area up ahead is a vagrant dwelling, but they've sealed off the entrance. I guess they're afraid that angry miners might try to take revenge. How could the situation here become such a mess? I heard that first mining team found a geomero vein with incredible deposits. 
<laughs> the initial estimate put it at the largest discovery in the last 30 years. Are you serious? That's big news. How come I never heard about it? Well, they weren't in a hurry to make it known. <laughs> Most of the mines have been contaminated by the Fragmentum. Many people are out of work. They were afraid of being overwhelmed if they let the word out. But the vagrants here have keen eyes. They couldn't keep it hidden from them. Some local gangs wanted to profit from the situation, so they blackmailed the mining team for hush money. And that was the final straw. As it happens, that's exactly the law we have down here. But the vagrants have their own custom. See it, share it. And that's how the clash started. Now both sides are dealing with heavy losses. So, are you guys here to help resolve the conflict? They're here because they need a favor from Chief Oleg. I'm escorting them. And seeing as you need that helping hand, it wouldn't be too much to ask you to lend one here first, right? Of course we want to help. We care about other people too, you know. Suit yourself. I'm not forcing you. <laughs> I believe we're dealing with kind-hearted people here, Zila. As you've all seen, the situation down here is, um, strained. If you can, we would really appreciate you helping the people. Have any of you seen my husband? He's a good-looking guy, tall and thin. Oh, you again. Quit joking around. No need to add to the confusion. You think I'm joking? I saw you taking down the names of the miners. That's why I came over. Oh. Uh, you can put the name down here. Antonia from the beginning. We never should have let those vagrants mine with us. I wouldn't be in this mess if it weren't for those thugs. <sighs> Enough already. Nobody has it easy. This is a time to help each other out. I remember one of your uncles had to flee Rivertown, which makes him a vagrant too, right? Would you drive him away? Th he's family. The other vagrants aren't my problem.
Don't come any closer. The road's blocked. Stay where you are. Oh, easy. Why are you hiding in there? Don't you know what happened in the mine? <clears throat> well, what's that got to do with us? Do you think we're the same as those thugs? Is anyone with you injured? We have a doctor. She can care for your wounded. Yeah, right. And you can guarantee that no one there with you is out for blood. I don't believe it. Stay where you are. <sighs> These guys. done for. Easy. Dr. Natasha told you to rest. What if your wound opens up again? Besides, Elaine will get him out. She's a reliable girl. Elaine was in there too? Quick! We have to... Calm down and stop worrying. Wildfire's already gone in. The giant ore vein. The one they discovered. That must be where the clashes are centered. Come on, let's get to higher ground and take a look. That person up ahead, is he asleep? Let's head up and take a look. He might need help. Falling asleep in a place like this. Impressive. Hey, wakey, wakey. You'll get mushrooms growing on your head. Hmm. What? Mushroom bread? I can't see it on the menu. Huh? Miss Sila! Have you got a death wish or something? How can you sleep here? Get back to safety and take shelter. Take shelter? I remember now. These guys came out of nowhere and got into a fight with the mining team. At the time, I was exhausted. I'd hardly run a few feet when one of them caught me. If it weren't for wildfire, they'd have stolen the clothes off my back. You don't know these guys. No moral compass. They'd rob you blind in a flash. It's only thanks to wildfire that the great mine hasn't fallen under their control completely. Uh, speaking of which, where is wildfire? Did they head further in? Is there a fight happening? It seems like Chief Oleg must be up ahead. Hurry up and get back to safety. Look for Nat. And try not to get into another scrap along the way. Okay. Thank you for, um, getting me on my feet. If I get back soon enough, I'll have time for a... for a nap. It's Elaine from First Mining Team. Quick, let's get up there and see if she's wounded. Elaine, are you okay? Are you hurt? Uh, Zila, thank goodness. I I'm fine. Just a couple of sprains. You've got good timing. Those vagrants were asking me about the robots, but I don't know anything. Oh, don't you know? The intersection of the Great Mine has been seized by a band of robots. Neither the mining team nor the vagrants can get anywhere near. New challengers enter! About time! Human-only conflicts are so boring! Does anyone know where the robots come from? <sighs> At first, we thought that a collective fault had occurred in the excavation machines. But then we found out that those machines didn't even belong to the mining team. They came out of nowhere and pushed the vagrants and us back. Then they blocked off the only tunnels into the intersection. <sighs> There's no way anyone in the mining team is behind this. Operating a single unit is tiring enough, but a whole group? <laughs> Impossible. And there's only one possibility. Boss Svarog. Svarog? That name sounds familiar. You remember the robots we defeated in the boxing gym? Oh, Boss Farag's robots! What's his deal? Let's just say he's not to be trifled with. Let's go and find some other people. Elaine, can you make it back to safety? No problem. Zila and the rest of you, be careful. Robots? A 
aligned against humans? I've never heard of such a thing. Machines should obey humans unconditionally. Is this elevator broken? Why isn't it re responding? Why are you worried about this piece of junk? Do you really want to go down there and be a live target for the robots? But if we evacuate, then haven't we lost out? You idiot, we'll just steal off the miners. Look, I saw with my own eyes. They managed to bag some Geomara. This is a perfect opportunity. Oh, good idea. Shameless. Still after the miners, are you? Time to teach you a lesson. Want to see what I can do? Time to twirl! Do you know who I am? <laughs> this big diamond! It's all yours! <laughs> Fleeing at the first sign of danger. That's all they're good for. Huh? What's this? Did those guys leave it behind? Whoa, whoa! What the heck? Beep, beep, beep! Searching for potential user. Beep, beep, beep! Voice print detected! Looking up corresponding identity information. Oh my, it's an alien! Hey, it talks! And it knows that we aren't from this planet? It doesn't seem to be technology from here. Look, it even has an International Peace Corporation logo on it. Perhaps it's an antiquity left behind by some past interstellar traveler. Beep, beep, beep. Your mom's an antiquity. Beep, beep, beep. Whatever, whatever. So you aliens know about the Interastral Peace Corporation? That's great. Beep, beep, beep. Self-introduction. I am Richard, the home use object finder. Model information. Version 0 0.63. Professional model. Annual deluxe package. Nickname? Bindy. A home use object finder? Who knew the IPC made these kinds of products? Beep, beep, beep. My brainwave scanner module is damaged. Please send me to an interastral peace appliances retail store near you for free repair within the warranty period of 232 years, 84 days. Beep, beep, beep. Alien, please take me to an interastral peace appliances retail store to conduct repairs. What? This spell is already broken. What should we do? Take it with us? Beep, beep, beep! Yes, yes, yes! When you need to find something you can't see, just call upon Findy. That's me!
ignite it or rock with it. Cowards and bullies. I don't remember you guys acting this tough around Svarog's minions. <laughs> Did your parents never teach you what a backbone was? <laughs> we ain't stupid. Why would we risk our lives against the robots? And get off the high road. You can't just find a huge chunk of Geomero and hog it all to yourselves. This mine is our territory. The mining team is laboring here day in and day out. You guys don't even pretend like you're here to lend a hand. You're lazy. All you want is to profit off our sweat and tears. You don't even try hiding it. Disgrace. Where does disgrace come into it when we can't even fill our stomachs, huh? I know your game. You're just waiting for us to starve to death so there's more food for your mining team. It's a waste of time trying to reason with you. While you've been kicking up this fuss, the whole vein's been seized by robots. Now we're all in the same boat. <laughs> right, right. We can't rely on the vein anymore. But don't forget which side brought loaded guns to the party. Whoa, easy. What are you trying to pull off? I'm warning you, wildfire are in the area. <laughs> Empty threat. <laughs> Wildfire are stuck dealing with Sparag's minions. How are they gonna help you now? Unless you're planning on taking a bullet. Hand over the supplies and equipment. They're getting ready to attack. Those miners are unarmed. You shameless scoundrels! No need to play the hero. I'm going with you. I'm going too. We can't let these thugs get away with whatever they like. Aha! Uh -huh. And who do we have here? Do you know whose territory this is? Shut it. This isn't your territory. I'm in a hurry. I'll take you all in one go. Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up! Time to twirl! Hit! Oh, Zila. Thank goodness you came. We were nearly, uh... <laughs> Nothing but a few knuckleheads. I'm just glad you're okay. Antonia, have you seen Chief Oleg? Oleg? He took a group into the intersection. Said it was to clear off the invading robots. They've been gone for a while now. <laughs> if wildfire was around, those thugs wouldn't have dared. Seems like the core of this problem is Svarog's robots. The boss. He appeared suddenly after the guards were redeployed and became a major player in the underworld. Svarog claims to be a guardian of humanity. All the ownerless robots obey his commands. They've occupied the Furnace Core hub, and they're not letting anyone get close. Nobody knows why Svarog did any of this. He usually doesn't leave the Furnace Core and interfere unless some kind of disorder breaks out in the underworld. Wait, a guardian of humanity? That can command robots? I I've never heard of anything like... <laughs> Looks like your mighty architects weren't as all-knowing as you thought. Can you two say anything without quarreling? This isn't the time! <sighs> Sounds like there's danger waiting for us in the intersection. Can we still get through? Yeah, we still need to talk with the chief. 
It's only a bunch of scrap metal. What are we afraid of? Oh, is Zila starting to appreciate our strength? Hmm? I'll be honest. You guys are hardworking. If everyone from Wildfire were as impressive as you on the battlefield, we wouldn't be so hard-pressed by Svarog. Antonia, can you take the mining team back through the entrance to meet up with Natasha? Yeah, sure thing. But uh, be careful. There are a lot of robots up ahead. Way? It looks like there's a roadblock up ahead. I'll be the judge of that. Come on, let's take a closer look. It's completely blocked by the mine card. What do we do? Can we blow it up? Easy. It belongs to the mining team. We can't just destroy it. We should try and fix it. Easier said than done. Do you know how? Yeah, of course. Every underworlder worth their salt knows how to fix a minecart. Let me see. Hmm. Even the pin connecting the body to the chassis is broken. Not to mention the rear wheel set bearing. This looks like the work of Svarog's minions. We need to find spare parts we can use nearby. We're wasting time. Beep, beep, beep! to find something. Findy can help. How come you just jumped out on your own, little fella? Isn't your module thingy broken? Beep, beep, beep. My brainwave scanner module is indeed broken. However, manual input for search is still operable. Come on, input the name of the object you were looking for. Findy can help. Oh, well, aren't you confident? Ah, uh, let me give it a try then. Where's the input interface? Ah, found it. Minecart pin, minecart wheel set. Confirm. Just like that. Beep, beep, beep. Request is being processed. Beep, beep, beep. Match successful. Initiating search for lost item. Minecart pin. Beep, beep, beep. Item found. Please commence search according to the home use object finder safety manual. <laughs> In the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call in beep, beep, beep. As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call in beep, beep, beep. Based on your search history, I recommend the humanoid tactical microwave. Press skip to cancel personalized ads. Beep, beep, beep. Findy will create a calendar reminder for when you want to visit an Interastral Peace Appliances store. Beep, beep, beep. As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call Inter- Beep, beep, beep. Based on your search history, I recommend the Humanoid Tactical Microwave. Press skip to cancel personalized ads. Beep, beep. As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call in beep, beep, beep. Based on your search history, I recommend the humanoid tactical microwave.
Press skip to cancel personalized ads. Beep, beep, beep. As stated in beep, beep, beep. Potential target object detected. The current search has concluded. Entering sleep mode. Let me see. Uh, yeah, we can make do with this part. This little machine isn't half bad. Beep, beep, beep! What's that? Is that a hint of respect for Findy? How convenient! So, next time Don Hum gets lost, we can just use Findy to find him, right? Beep, beep, beep. Biological life form search is currently not supported. If you have any questions, please call Interastral Peace Appliances. Well, it was a good idea. Let's look for the next part. Beep, beep, beep! Initiating search for lost item. Minecart wheel set. Beep, beep, beep! Item found! Please come in, sir. Beep, beep, beep! As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call beep, beep, beep! Potential target object detected. The current search has concluded. Entering. That's everything. You were a big help, Findy. Beep, beep, beep. It was nothing. Enter Astral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep. Current search complete. <sighs> Entering sleep mode. Please recharge the home use object finder. We're pretty lucky, huh? Without Findy, it probably would have taken half the day to find these parts. Well, not that long. But that little machine definitely made it a lot easier. All right, let's go back and fix the minecart. Are you gonna do it yourself? Why wouldn't I? You've gotta be self-reliant down here. Watch, you might learn something. All right, mission accomplished! <laughs> Quick work. You know, I didn't think you guys had worked a day in your lives, but you know how to get your hands dirty. The cart is about to depart! Robots will have seized the road ahead by now. We should go... Whoa! Stop! Uh, stop! 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 There's a big evil hunk of metal right there! Model. It's one of Svarog's lapdogs, all right. Don't be afraid. I've dealt with those robots before. Let's go! I won't surrender. Some stars? Give these trailblazers your blessing! Songs for you. Let's rock!
The underground will ever see it fully excavated. even more spectacular. I doubt the underground will ever see it fully excavated. Mm. that your reason for summoning me is not the or in question. State your true intention, Clara. Right. I wanted Mr. Spark to see that many miners and vagrants have gotten hurt because of the vein. Can you help them? I have already prevented the dispute and taken temporary control of the excavation zone. Evaluation result. In the event of no further variables, there will be no large-scale armed conflict within the next 30 days. I know why you did it, Mr. Sparog. It's just... I don't think it'll be enough. The mining team and Wildfire... They don't understand your actions. If only we could do more for them. My mission is the protection of the underworld. The trust of the minority sample is redundant to my calculations. Human behavior will always deviate from rational calculation, Clara. As evidenced by their presence here. Farag! We haven't settled our final score. Zila, subordinate to wildfire. Your resistance is futile. The result of my calculation is unequivocal. Remaining in the underworld is the optimal strategy for survival. Calculation results, survival strategies. I haven't got time for your thesis. Withdraw your forces, or I'll lose my temper. Observe, Clara. Even under abject conditions, humans are unable to avoid division and conflict. But Mr. Swarog... Human failure to accept the calculation result is a significant threat to the survival strategy of the underworld. Calculation complete. Result unequivocal. Armed suppression of wildfire and their allies is the optimal course of action. What about the girl in red? That robot is gonna take her away! We must leave, Clara. External variables have triggered a calculation reset. The Furnace Core Hub requires protection. Please, Mills. Don't hit them too hard. <sighs> I was getting bored of those minions. Time for a real fight. Come at me! Huh? Huh? <laughs> Honored to 
meet me? Wildfire has never been able to take him down. Svarog's forces are too strong. We don't have enough firepower. Clara? Don't worry about her. That girl is best pals with Svarog. She's always following behind him. He wouldn't harm her. I guess I'm just used to seeing them together now, even if I don't understand it. Let's look for the chief. No need to look far. Nice work, Zila. We were attacked on both sides by robots. Who knows where they came from? We thought we were in it for the long haul. <laughs> Chief, is everyone okay? Is anyone injured? We're fine. We're used to it at this point. We sent those pesky robots and ragtag troops packing. The mine should be quiet for a while. Who are your friends here? Ah, them. They're outsiders that Sample brought down from who knows where. They need a favor from Wildfire, so I brought them with me. It'll be faster if they explain. <laughs> it's been a while since I heard that anyone was pleased to meet anyone. Get you in a hurry. Wildfire welcomes you. So, you went to all this trouble to find Wildfire. What help is it you need? <laughs> I didn't know you'd put on a show for the overworld, too. Impressive. <laughs> well, this is new. Wildfire can barely take care of the underworld. And now outsiders are looking for assistance from us. This Stellaron you speak of. I've never heard of it. But if it's a secret that even we locals don't know about, then one name does come to mind. Really, Sambo? You might as well try the Supreme Guardian. The current Supreme Guardian is a liar, who uses sweet words to deceive the Underworld. She's never cared about our survival. Stop right there! I... won't allow you to insult the Madam Guardian. In this Overworld, my words may be painful to you, but every one of them is true. Go out into the towns and hear for yourself. See how the people here suffer? I haven't gotten close to voicing the extent of the Underworld's grievances, young lady. But I will respect your request. I will leave it at that for now. Let's get back to the main topic. The name that came to my mind was Svarog. Huh? Isn't Svarog Wildfire's sworn enemy? Why would a mere robot in the Underworld have knowledge of important secrets? Sworn enemy. <laughs> Not how I see it. The young master here is closer. Svarog is a cold, unfeeling machine. He recognizes only the dead reasoning of his calculations. Svarog is not against Wildfire. Or perhaps I should say, Wildfire isn't even of concern to him. That ancient robot witnessed the war. If you're looking to pick up a thread, he may well be your best source. Yeah, I remember hearing this world was invaded by the Legion hundreds of years ago. Robots don't forget. If Svarog hasn't heard of your Stellaron, then I'm afraid 
Perhaps no one has. In which case, we need to think of a way to convince Svarog to communicate with us. Or get him to hand over his memory bank. We could go through it ourselves. <sighs> what should we do? We've tried repeatedly to negotiate with Svarog, but he rejects every effort. He believes that wildfire is a threat. Still, if it were you guys... Hmm, it's difficult to say. We have time. Let's get into the details tomorrow. It's late, and you must have been through a lot. Go back to the town and rest. I'll make arrangements. Again? I'm starting to get nervous of arranged rest on this planet. As for our silver main girl here, do you have time? I'd like to talk with you in private. You guys have some moves. If you need my help with anything, just shout. <laughs> It'll take more than that. But you're not as bad as I took you for. You walk the talk. Oh, uh, I wanted to ask you. That Branya girl, is she really a silver main guard? Oh, she heads up the force? Not bad. It's just... I thought that Silvermane guards were all cold and unfeeling. They left the underworld to perish. But she doesn't give me that impression. Anyway, I've got stuff to report to the chief. See you around. Wildfire, the vagrants, Svarok. The changes in here are greater than I ever imagined. What exactly did the Underworld go through after the Silvermane Guards left? Sorry. Did you have something you wanted to say to me? We do? I hadn't realized. I've received rigorous military training. Coordinating with soldiers under any circumstances is easy for me. I admit Zila is talented. We do work well together, but that's all there is to it. According to Oleg, he's a robot that took part in the War of Defense over 700 years ago. He possesses a near-human intelligence and rules over all the machinery in the underground. During the war, the architects created astonishing mechanical soldiers, but the fight was so terrible that most were damaged or destroyed. The technology was lost. If what Oleg says is true, then Svarog is an architect creation left over from the old era. I think I know what it will concern. Even if Oleg wasn't looking for me, I would have looked for him. I'm certain that the residents of the underground will have a lot they need to vent about. And, as a Silvermane guard, I have a lot that I need to ascertain. Nothing more. Hey, uh, thanks for your concern. Uh, you should head back to the town. I'll do the same when Oleg and I are finished. Uh, young lady, this isn't the best place for a chat. Let's keep things brief. Svarog? Well, he's an artificially intelligent being from the old world. He was here when the underground was first constructed. That's about all I knew. Now he guards the Furnace Core hub. Many vagrants have established bases in the vicinity, seeking Svarok's protection. You got the gist from Natasha, right? The miners and vagrants came to blows over the vein. Then Svarok's subordinates pushed everyone back. You saw for yourself. After he pushed everyone back, he disappeared. It was clear he didn't have any interest in the vein itself. If you want my take, he prevented another underworld conflict. Even if the execution was rough around the edges. His behavior says something about his thinking. The 
As long as everyone's been driven out, the conflict is over. Well, I heard that she's a silver main guard that was sent to arrest you. I expected you to be less friendly around each other. Are you worried about her? Really? I'm surprised. Still, you can rest easy. I won't make things difficult for her. We haven't seen a silver main guard down here for a long time now. I just want to ask her a few questions. Nothing more. It's getting late. <clears throat> you should go back to the town and get some rest. is yet to come. You finally got some leisure.
There's inspiration in every glance and every breeze. Oh, you must be Oleg's guests. Welcome to the Gerda Grand Hotel. Yep, you've probably seen that stylish Gerda Hotel above ground, right? Uh, not the most pleasant memories of that place. That's the above ground branch of the Grand Hotel. A few hundred years ago, one ancestor of the Gerda family was ambitious and sought to build something big from nothing. He eventually realized his dream and opened a hotel branch in the most expensive area on the surface. Oh, people with big dreams have big determination. Oleg wants me to take good care of y'all. Here's the key. You'll be staying in our most spacious guest room. What do you think? Should we go ahead and call it a day? or walk around a bit more first. <sighs> time to rest again. I hope there aren't any surprises this time. That Oleg, he seems sincere. What do you guys think? Don't you have something cool to say? Like, appearances can be deceiving? I don't try to disagree. But if you ask for my opinion, it's better to be safe than sorry. Ah, oh, fine. We'll keep our guards up. Our last hotel experience was eventful, to say the least. One of us should keep watch tonight. Uh, keep watch? Are we space cowboys now? I guess this is the cosmic wild west. <laughs> Uh, anyone else sleepy? You seem pretty exhausted. Don't overexert yourself. I'll do it. I'll keep watch. Branya, did you finish talking to Oleg? Hope he didn't make things difficult for you. Not really. Though it wasn't the friendliest conversation. We didn't see eye to eye on everything. I've come to know a great deal in a short time. Doubt I'll be able to fall asleep tonight. I doubt I'll be able to sleep either. Not that I don't trust you. It's just, you're a Silver Mane Guard officer in the underground. There might be people looking to harm you. I wouldn't be surprised if there are. Silvermane guards have a lot to make amends for down here. If someone had made a stand in the outset and explained the consequences to Madame Cocolia, forget it. It's meaningless to talk about it now. You don't need to worry about me. Oleg guaranteed that I wouldn't be harmed. He seemed like a man of his word. Go and rest.
That voice again. Such a strange dream. May as well go for a walk if I can't sleep. There, show yourself. Oh, it's you. Don't sneak up behind me next time. Lucky for you, I wasn't armed. <laughs> no sleep for you either, huh? You need someone to look after you. Actually, seeing as there's no one around. It, can I ask you some things? This Stellaron you speak of, if you were to find it, how sure are you that you could stop the Eternal Freeze? Is he your leader? I feel he possesses a great stillness of mind in everything he does. You know, it was difficult for me to believe you, some of the words you use are too alien for those that have lived their entire life in Bellabog. As far as I was concerned, Madame Kakolia's order to arrest you sounded reasonable. But why didn't she issue it straight away? She must have realized something about you. Something I haven't yet been able to perceive for myself. It bothers me. What must have transpired to cause her such a drastic change? Ah, still... Orders are orders. It's not for soldiers to question their superiors. I don't need you to absolve me. The truth is, I didn't have every confidence that I was doing the right thing. But the sense of duty to carry out an order is bound to prevail with me. In the past, Overworld soldiers on the front line would lose their lives in droves. And yet, the Fragmentum's advance would remain unaffected. Nevertheless, that was her reason for deploying all the Silvermane guards to the front line. The transport line for supplies in Geomarov remained open. But the passage between the surface and the underground ceased. Huh. I approved of that decision. I never thought that the Underworld would sink into such ruin without the Silverman Guards. Perhaps Mother was wrong. But how can I change her mind? I've tried, but she won't listen. I don't know how to get through to her. You mean... What was I thinking? No, I shouldn't. That was a diabolical thought. <sighs> The more I think about it, the more disoriented I get. Which in turn makes me think about it even more. I just want a better life for the people of Bellabong. Maybe you're right. Or not. Right now, I... I just need more time to think. Walk with me. Let's forget our problems for a while. I can't remember the last time I went for a walk like this. I never thought I'd take one through such a strange place. With someone I'd only just gotten to know. It's so quiet here. I'm not used to it. Ah, the quieter things are around you, the louder. I'm surprised the vagrants in the Great Mine go after the mining teams. They must be desperate. Still, whatever their situation, a crime is a crime. How is the law supposed to find a balance between justice and compassion in the face of such complexity? How much longer can you last with your current supplies? Is that Zila? Let's go take a look. Huh. 
I know. I'll go to Rivet Town and bring them back for you. It's too dangerous to go alone. Get Oleg to send someone with you. The rest of Wildfire has barely gotten any sleep the last few days. They should rest. They'd only be holding their eyelids open and slowing me down. Besides, didn't you say some of the miners were gravely injured? Lives are on the line. Aren't you supposed to be sleeping? What are you doing out here? Up to no good, perhaps? We're just having a walk neither of us could sleep. You can rescind your baseless accusations. <laughs> walk somewhere else, then. Easy, Zila. Maybe they can help. <laughs> I'm grateful. Here's the situation. The clinic is packed full of people injured in the mines incident. Since you helped us resolve things, Zila and I have been busy caring for them. As you know, the underground is lacking resources to begin with. Add on the sudden nature of the incident, and it's no surprise that the clinic is almost out of medical supplies. We need to acquire more... somehow. You don't know him at all yet, do you? You can't rely on people like Sampo when it's important. As the Fragmentum spreads underground, more monsters go roaming around, causing trouble for all the towns. That means more vagrants in the mines. The town's resources have been swallowed up by the Fragmentum. To get anything now, people have to risk their lives. Easy now, Zila. Anger isn't good for one's health. Zila and I actually aren't from here. We both come from an industrial town to the north. A few years ago, the Fragmentum began to seep into the town center. I used to manage an orphanage and clinic there. But after the Fragmentum corroded the area, I had no choice but to move here to Boulder Town. After all, I have to survive myself if I want to save more people. Go to a corroded town to collect some useful resources? I'm in. You want to come as well? But you look quite tired. Hold up. I never said you could join us. People's lives are at stake. Why wouldn't you want another person to help? Besides, I have some experience with the Fragmentums. I'm sure I will be of use. <sighs> well, just don't slow me down. Zila's lack of outright rejection means she approves of you. <laughs> with you all accompanying her, my mind will be more at ease. Come, let me give you a list of materials we need. The place you're going to is called Rivet Town. Follow the path through the mountains to the north for a bit, and you'll arrive there. <sighs> let me think. Uh, I'm almost out of metal plates and bandages used for immobilizing broken bones. There's a market in the center of Rivet Town. Residents left behind piles of materials there when they evacuated. Please look for some there. Oh, also rubbing alcohol. I kept a bunch at the orphanage, since the kids often got into tussles. <laughs> I didn't bring it with me when I left. Oh, I hope it's still intact. Lastly, painkillers. There should be a bunch stored in the old lab. Hopefully they haven't been destroyed by monsters. These should be enough to get by for a bit longer. Be careful, don't push yourselves too hard. Metal plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, and painkillers. Got it. Piece of cake. Let's go. If we leave now, we can still make it back before sundown. When it comes to helping injured people groaning in pain, the sooner the better. If we hadn't happened to be passing by, were you really planning on going into the Fragmentum alone? Of course. What's all the fuss about? I've done that loads of times. So reckless. According to the rules of the Silvermane Guards, any expedition into the Fragmentum must have a squad of at least four members, as well as a communications officer. Exactly. A rule of the Silvermane Guards. Don't apply your rules to us. Thank you. If we hadn't run into you two, Zila would have had to venture into the Fragmentum on her own. I know it's not her first rodeo. 
but the thought of her taking on those horrid monsters... I can't help but worry. I know, but she grew up before my eyes, after all. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. Zila has been like this since she was little. Impulsive and eager to be the best. For people who don't know her, they might find her... difficult. But you can trust her, even with your life. Stick around a bit longer, and you'll see what I mean. We're here. This is Rivet Town. Everything looks familiar. Let's go, and watch your step. I haven't been here in a long time. There are probably some monsters around. We can't see anything here. Let's find higher ground to get a better view. that house on the hill? That's Natasha's old orphanage. After Oleg found me, he sent me there. I spent over half my childhood in that place. Natasha said that the house was donated by some rich businessman. Whatever his business may have been, he must have been a good person. I miss those carefree days as a kid. Huh. What? Nothing to say? No, it's just... This place seems familiar somehow. <sighs> Never mind. Weirdo. Look down there. See the mess that remains of those old stalls? That's Rivet Town's market. The supplies Natasha wants are probably there. Let's keep moving. Watch out for monsters. 